Do you have any issues with Brooks' style of play? Yeah, I do. Um, I believe you can play hard without playing dirty. I mean, some of the things that he does unnecessary. Guy has a breakaway dunk, and he's not trying. He just shoves the guy in the back, as AD mentioned, and then he comes down and he clubs a, uh, LeBron size the head. Last year, he hit Brown in the private area. He just does a lot of things that's unnecessary, and I don't believe that's – you know, sometimes people say, well, that, that's, that's his style of play. That ain't no style of play, bro. You're going to hurt somebody out there. And if you know, hey, if that's all they're going to let you do, if they're going to let you shove guys in the back, hell, they can hire me. Just let me come in at 55 years of age, and I can do exactly what Dylan Brooks do. Sh guy gets on the breakaway, I can shove him in the back. I can go up for a rebound, pretend like I'm trying to get a rebound, and club the guy upside his head. Man, that's unnecessary. That ain't no – that is not basketball. Oh, that's tough. That's physical. That's in the 90s. They cleaned that style of basketball up. If you want to say they played like that in the 80s and 90s, okay, I remember that. But that's not the style of play that they play now. And the way he plays the game is unnecessary. You could have hurt somebody because you can't protect yourself when you're up in the air and somebody shoves you from behind. Or LeBron's trying to go up for a rebound, and he makes it seem like he's trying to get the rebound, and then he comes across LeBron's head with his left hand. It's unnecessary. That's not basketball. You can't convince me that's basketball because I believe you can play tough physical basketball without being dirty, and I believe he's a dirty player. That's me personally. That's one element of it. No disagreement there. I don't like the way Dylan Brooks did what he did last night. There's no doubt about it. But, Shay Shay, I'm very, very surprised. Actually, let me take that back. I'm not surprised that you left it at that. I'm not surprised that you didn't go any further because, I mean, Goat James, far be it to, far be it for you to besmirch him in any way, Shay Shay. I mean, stop it. The fact of the matter is this. Houston whipped their ass last night. Can we get oh, that out of the way? That's not why they lost, though, bro. I, 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 mean, I understand, I understand okay. that, but what yeah. I said is you're usually complete with your takes. You right. were a bit sure. You shortchanged your take. The Lakers right played the, the Lakers, Lakers were trash. The, the, I, you want me to say Lakers were nice trash? It's nice to hear you say it because you should have said it at the start. Okay. But that's why? Hold, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't start that shit. I'm getting on you now because if it was anybody else, and listen, Kendrick Perkins, what would we have heard? Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp say, you know what? The hell with that. You go low, we go high. You go low, I go to the basement. I go to the yeah, basement. Yeah. That's what he would say. Well, <laughs> Dylan Brooks went low. Why didn't the Lakers go to the basement. How come you didn't bring that up, Shannon Sharp? You know why? Because you're a little bit, you get a little bit soft and sensitive when it comes to the goat James. That's why. And I'm getting on you about that. And then you hold on right there. With the, I like the glasses. <laughs> I like the glasses there. But the point is, that's what you do. Here's the reality. We all know Dylan Brooks, who Dylan Brooks is. We may not like it. Guess who knows it better than anybody? The Lakers and LeBron James. Then what you go out there and get your ass kicked for? How come he scored 17 points? How come they were busting y'all you-know-what? How come they won the game by 16 points? You know what you're going up against. This ain't the first time Dylan Brooks has been Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks has been Dylan Brooks for years. What did LeBron James do to Memphis in the postseason when Dylan Brooks was talking all of that smack last year? They spent the closeout game up by 40. Dylan Brooks was like, he ain't scoring 40. I mean, no, you just got beat by 40, okay? They destroyed the Memphis Grizzlies and sent them home. And class personified, which is LeBron James, what did he do? He walked off the court of that playoff game. Am I right, Big Perk? Walked off the court of that playoff game without even shaking hands or greeting anybody because he was so disgusted by Dylan Brooks and the way the Memphis Grizzlies were acting. And so he smoked them and sent them home. That's what you were supposed to do last night. But you did it. And by the way, the Houston Rockets are 22 and 24. The Lakers are a 500 team. They're basically one game behind. You're buying for – this is a team that you have to compete with for one of the playoff spots. You know this going into the game, what you go out and get your ass kicked for. So I get what you're saying about Dylan Brooks. No argument there. It's absolutely true. He doesn't need to be trying that nonsense. But he repeatedly does it. You know he's going to do it. Well, what the hell are you going to do about it? Because I can't see nobody rolling up to Big Perk or Shay Shay and do, no, with a history of doing stuff, and then you roll up in there and you do it again and get away with it. Because you know why? Because if they go low, you're going to go to the basement. You're going to go Perk, to the basement. Perk, Perk, let me say this. But you have to understand, Stephen A., football, we have a different mentality. Because if you do something like that to us, we're going to get your ass back. I'm going to get you or I'm going to get your teammate. Okay. And when your teammate asked me why you what, what what's going on, I say because your boy cheap shot at me, and I couldn't get him, so I got you. So somebody got to get this.
So that, don't think. But see, that's, that's but see that's but see that's not LeBron. LeBron is not wired. See, I wanted to keep it specific to the topic of Dylan Brooks. I just want everybody to know that's not why the late Dylan Brooks shoving Jared Vanderbilt, him going upside LeBron's head. That wasn't why the Lakers lost. The Houston Rockets came out with a different mentality. They kicked the Lakers' butt. The Lakers played like trash, and the Rockets right. outplayed them. Those two incidents didn't have anything to do right. with the grand scheme of things. But I wanted to keep it specific. Okay. to Dylan okay. Brooks. Take okay. off, Perk. It had a lot to do with why the Lakers, why the Houston Rockets bust they you-know-what last night. Dylan Brooks is an enforcer. Dylan Brooks is a guy that you hate him if you're on the opposite team. You love him if he's on your team. Look, we saw early in the season, we saw LeBron James and who get into it in the Crypto.com arena. Ime Udoka. Damn it, the Lakers knew it was beef when they walked into that arena last night and the Rockets was ready to make hamburgers. Actually, they did. So when I think about Dylan Brooks, this is who he's been. This is why the Rockets paid him $80 million. This is what he brings to the table, tenacity. Now, the push in the back with Jared Vanderbilt, I get all that. Yeah, it was a bit unnecessary, but damn it, Shay Shay, he's been showing us for years. This is who I am. He is the villain every single time he walks on the floor. He embraces that role. And we know the tension that he have, not only with LeBron James, but yeah, with LeBron James, but we know the tension that the Rockets and the Lakers have now, period. So my thing is, is this. I don't have an issue with how Dylan Brooks approached the game of basketball. I don't have an issue with how he stares down his opponents and he antagonizes them. I was one of them ones. I was one of them forces. And damn it, I actually love to see physicality sometimes in this in this day of age. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. The league's soft as hell. The way guys are getting 73s, putting up 70s and 60s and things to that nature. I have to turn my damn TV off. It's, a, it's an embarrassment. <laughs> you know, like, look, like, no real talk. When I was, listen. When I was playing in the era where you had Rasheed Wallace, KG, Tim Duncan, Shaq, y'all mean. Like, you know, we used to have a motto. Man, look, a person ain't about to get their average on me. Man, I'm going to get ejected before somebody drop 40 on me. I'm going to get ejected. Dylan Brooks is, is who he is. And at the end of the day, the Lakers knew what they were walking into. Well, and they wasn't prepared for the fight. Absolutely. And I have to get back to Shannon Sharp. I, I am so disappointed. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Kendrick Perkins, this man is sitting up there. Our boy, Club Shay Shay. This man is sitting up there. Talking, That's football. Hell no. Dylan Brooks is Dylan Brooks. How come he's inflicting harm upon others, but spot, spot, somehow, some way, harm doesn't get inflicted upon him. How's he getting away with that? But see, How's but, he getting but, away with that? But you have to understand, the Lakers don't have a guy like that. So if you don't have a guy like that, you don't ask LeBron to go take that out. You have somebody, hey, Dylan Brooks come down the lane, you go upside his head, and you open him up like a melon. And then you wouldn't have Man. to worry about Dylan Brooks no more. LeBron is 6'9", 260. I understand somebody else needs to do it. But especially if you're getting your ass kicked already, what's the harm in retribution? See? The fact of the matter is you got to inflict that yourself. When they, when they, when they and, go low, and, I go to the basement. And, I'm going to keep reminding you that. When and, they go and, low, and, I go and, to the basement. Yeah. But that oh, and, and Shay, but Shay, you have to Shay, understand, Shay, though, uh, Shay, Stephen A. Go ahead. Go ahead, Perk. Go ahead. No, Shay, Shay, Shay I, I, I just want to stop you, okay, because... See, Stephen A, let me tell you, he think he's slick as a can of oil. And right now, he's soaking this up. See, what, later down the line, at some point of this season, we're going to revisit that GOAT topic, right? And see, MJ, Jordan, he wasn't taking this type of nonsense. That's Jordan right. was getting your face. Jordan there was we ready go. to throw blows. There we so go. when we come Speak. on here... We, we, when you come on here, you got to be prepared and make sure you be conscious of what you say. Don't when help it comes him out. Down what you trying to help him out for? Big Perk. What you trying to help him out for? LeBron James. Because he go, he go use it against you. He's he he trying, trying to help out Shay Shay. But you have to That's understand. You but you have to understand that was the era when you had X-Men. Oh, you had Anthony Mace. Man, they cleaned that up. 
They not gonna let you. You think Adam Silver gonna let you go let you put your hands around somebody? Oh, 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 like oh, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 supposedly, Goat James is Goat James, and as a result, the rules are a little bit different. If anybody can get away with it, it would be Goat James. I tell you what, I, you gonna deny that? You gonna deny that? your question. You remember what? when LeBron James got suspended when he caught Isaiah Stewart with an elbow? What oh, happened, Stephen? Oh, oh, please! You talking about Isaiah? You talking about that cat Isaiah running <laughs> no, around no, 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 after everybody jumping? That, that he's being restrained about. by about twenty different people. Really? Yeah. You know, when it, Open him up like a felon. And we oh, barely on, touched man. him. Barely touched him and opened him up. Why? All right. That's well, what you're saying. You so guess what? Uh, well, well, if he look, barely touched I'm him, take, if he I'm barely touched him and got the blood, you saw you, you saw what the, the, the damage LeBron James could do. How come it ain't happened to Dylan Brooks? Handle that. Handle well, that. Well, that. That was an well, take, that was an accident. That's not LeBron's mo. That's not his method. That's know not that. his method operandi. That would be my method. Know. That would be Perk was the enforcer. That's uh, what you have to have one that, of those guys on your roster for. That would be MJ, support. too. That yeah. would be MJ, too. That would be get, MJ, too. But, uh, man, Go ahead. MJ what, ain't fought what, nobody. Shay, Shay. Guess, hey, hey, Shay Shay, guess what? Yeah, what happened? The way, it may be, the way it's looking right now, the Rockets and the Lakers could possibly match up in the play-in yes. tournament. Yes, in the play-in. And we so, fit them home. So, LeBron, so... So, but I'm, I'm saying, so he needs to be ready because Dylan Brooks is not going to change. Ime Udoka is not going to change. Ime Udoka called Braun soft. He called him face. soft. You don't and think said, what, 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 you, what, you, what you rolling over here for? What you going to do? That's what I, I said. Up, I walked That's up on him. I walked up on him and he ain't do nothing. Oh, please. Come on now. <laughs> Where did you do that at? You, you Where did you do that at? You don't want to 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 do that at? You don